Hello and welcome back. If you're a fan like me, you'll agree that Roseanne 1988 stands among the greatest TV series ever. So, how about joining me today? Grab a chair, settle by the campfire, and let's relive this fantastic show together. We'll journey through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who've left us and celebrating those who still shine. Ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Roseanne Barr played the character Roseanne Connor in the TV series when she was 36 years old in 1988. Here she is, at a cool 72, chilling in Salt Lake City, Utah, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by her side. I'm from my history teacher, Miss Crane. You gotta meet with her at 3.15. Today? Uh-huh. Why do you always wait to the last minute to tell me these things? I've got a lot of people with silver ponytails. Marxists, you know, they would stand up. I ran as a socialist, and they would stand up and scream, What about the illegal occupation of... John Goodman played the character Dan Connor in a TV series when he was 36 years old in 1988. Check it out. At 72 years old, he's rocking a fulfilling life, jam-packed with passions, right here in Afton, Missouri. <laughs> oh, great cream style. <laughs> no, check this out. Uh, the reading committee is up. And we just wound up goofing around for about an hour. And it was one of those things I had so much fun, I really didn't care whether I got the role or not, because he used to a lot of rejection. Laurie Metcalf played the character Jackie Harris. She was 33 years old when the TV series ran in 1988. Check it out. At 69 years old, she's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Carbondale, Illinois. Roseanne, there's something I want to tell my mother. <laughs> Mom, um, I'm pregnant. I went out with a guy I hardly know. We had sex for hours and I got... I even, on the show, watched the kids grow up on the show, yeah. and now they have kids of their own on the show. You know, so it... Sarah Gilbert played the character Darlene Connor in the TV series when she was 13 years old in 1988. Check it out. At 49 years old, she's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Santa Monica, California. I don't know, I guess for some guys, it'd probably make them feel, you know, like a man. Design, like interior design, I love design, design. architecture. Me too. Have yeah. you ever built a house? Have you ever done, I've I'd, never built it ground I'd up. like to, I'm thinking about it. Me yeah. too. Yeah. That's why I Alicia Goranson played the character Becky Connor. She was 14 years old when the TV series ran in 1988. Here she is, at a cool 50, chilling in Evanston, Illinois, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by her side. I was at the mall, okay? I got off the bus, walked directly into Rod Bell's, where I Well, I think that's another problem. Um, you see all the time gun violence in media, but what you don't see is the aftermath. You don't see the trauma. Johnny Galecki played the character David Healy. He was 13 years old when the TV series ran in 1988. Check it out. At 49 years old, he's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Brie, Flanders, Belgium. I, I, won't, I won't talk like that again. I'll never say it again. Don't you love me? I can't keep doing this. has a, a tattoo of the letter R for our, our father's name was uh, Richard. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought that was very nice. And he said, yeah, I'm going to go back next week and get mom's initial here. Our Natalie West played the character Crystal Anderson Connor. She was 32 years old when the TV series ran in 1988. Check it out. At 68 years old, she's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Atlanta, Georgia. You know, being a cop is something that laugh all you want, but I'm about to start living the best years of my life. I'm retiring from the casino with full benefits. Full benefits? That's amazing, Crystal. Glenn Quinn played the character Mark Haley in the TV series when he was 18 years old in 1988. December 3rd, 2002 was a tough one. 
He left us due to drug overdose at 32 years old in North Hollywood, Los Angeles, California. It's a sad loss for all of us. Well, next time, check with me first, and if I don't want to hit him, then you can hit him. <laughs> okay. Not that I would have hit him, but if I wanted to, it would have been nice. Of What's it about? <laughs> I said this to a, an American interviewer when I came over. I said, it's kind of a medieval bonanza. And then someone called me and said, Estelle Parsons played the character Beverly Harris in the TV series when she was 61 years old in 1988. Fast forward to today, she's a lively 97-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in Marblehead, Massachusetts. Good day, dear. Coast is clear. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I love Chris. We did a play together, Mornings at 7. Quite a long time ago when he was in New York. He keeps working in the theater, you know. I think he's from Vermont. And he Martin Mull played the character Leon Karp in the TV series when he was 45 years old in 1988. Here he is at a cool 81, chilling in Chicago, Illinois, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by his side. Hey, our lodge parties were not lame. The cops had to come every year. <laughs> Please, Roseanne, everyone knows that Halloween is our a record. No one will make you a record without booking. Yeah. So what happened was I was with a manager who had one act. Uh, it was a guy named Jonathan Edwards who had a song called. Michael O'Keefe played the character Fred in the TV series when he was 33 years old in 1988. Fast forward to today. He's a lively 69 year old soaking up the best of life right here in Mount Vernon, New York. wanted to be an actor and what it was like to want to be an actor and those moments you have when you're young and you're a teenager and you you do it and you think oh all right let's chat who is your absolute favorite character from Roseanne jump into the comments and spill the beans below this video and like usual show some love hit that like button subscribe for more and ding that notification bell to never miss my new stuff I can't wait to cook up more fantastic memories with you. Thanks a bunch, and stay tuned for more. See you all soon.